Welcome back friends. This is Susan Clifton here in the Baca studio in Pompano Beach, Florida. If you haven't been here before, I am an artist in residence in ba at Baca, which is the Bailey Contemporary Art Center. And I am also a web designer. So a couple of days a week, I'm also running a web design business and I have a lot of experience with marketing and also internet stuff, anything internet. So Printful. I discovered Printful about a year ago, and this is a great way of drop shipping your artwork where you don't have to get involved with the shipping and all of that, but you're also not making pennies on the dollar. So let's get started. I'll tell you all about it. So if you're an artist and you want to look, know more about how you can market your work or how you could sell prints without having to print them yourself, ship them yourself, but also not make just make pennies on the dollar, then you need to listen to this video because at Printful, you can do all of that. You can make t-shirts, um, canvases, paper prints, framed prints. I think framed prints. I haven't done that yet. I might try that soon or maybe even in this video and but I'm really planning to look into notebooks so bullet journaling is a really big popular thing and the dotted paper is what they usually use for bullet journaling and Printful makes a notebook with your artwork on the front and dotted papers on the inside my artwork is very inspirational, so I thought it would be a perfect notebook. So that's what we're going to start with. We're going to try to do a notebook, and then maybe I'll also do a, um, a framed print as well. We will see how that comes out. <laughs> So here I am in my dashboard at Printful. And the first thing I want to explain is that you have to have a shop. So you can't just have um, a regular website and be able to sell from it. You have to have a store. So you have to either have a WooCommerce if you're using WordPress, um, a Wix store, a Shopify, um, even an eBay store. So for most artists, eBay is probably the easiest way to go unless you already have a shop. So I've logged into my Printful dashboard and in here you can see you'll see everything from uh, tutorials. They have video, lots of video tutorials. Uh, Printful is very good at you know teaching you how to use their product. Then there's uh, a couple of suggested products here and um, this is where you can also find all of your um, you know tips and guidelines so under product templates you can find all the different types of um, products and this is where you can store your templates for future use under product templates, you can find all of the different types of products that you can add your artwork to. Um, I prefer home and living because this is where everything that I want to create is in here. I'm, I'm using mugs and uh, wall art and I'm, today I'm going to set up a notebook. One of the first things I suggest you do when you click on your um, create product template. You'll notice over here product info, pricing, and guidelines. When you click there, this is where you find, first of all, all of the information that you need to include um, in your shop. But here is um, the templates, and you can download the templates from here. So here on the stores page, you'll notice I've already connected my, my shop. I have a WooCommerce. Um, shopping cart on my website and and here's my view store so I can click here and it's going to show me all the products that are currently in my store okay so if you see add to warehouse that's because these are these are original works of art I'm not going to add them to the warehouse um, but if I 
click through here are where um, the ones that say synced are the ones that are actually printful products so not all of the products in my shop are printful so some of them are marked ignored ignored and then I have the option of adding it to their warehouse for storage and fulfillment okay so let's go to product templates I'm going to click on create a new product go to home and living and I'm going to create a notebook so I'm going to click on product info pricing and guidelines in order to download a template now I'm also going to note you'll notice this is the base price you're going to get to mark that up and then here is the description of the item so when you sync this product to your store it's going to probably sync it with this uh, information and then you can always edit your store so that it says whatever you know if you want to change this a little bit to make it sound more like you um, then you can okay here are the templates we're gonna just you can just click this to download okay I've already downloaded them so when you when you download the template for the spiral notebook you'll see a front and a back and it has these red dotted lines which show you the live area that's like a safe print area so that nothing with from you know outside of that area um, you know could get cut off so you want to make sure that your print safe area is within the red dots so I decided to put Prosper because I thought that was a great notebook cover and on the back I have my logo the name of my series and then the affirmations that are included in this painting which I think are great affirmations to repeat daily and then my contact information below which is my website my email Instagram and YouTube okay I'm selecting home and living notebooks I've already prepared my image and it's already uploaded so I have some higher resolution ones here um, I had tried the 150 like they recommended and I got a message that said that it wasn't high enough resolution so let us choose one of my original files and that looks good no warning messages I'm within the safe print area as you can see just barely but that's good I didn't want too large a border and let's see on the back now we're going to drag and drop our back in there and see if that works easily there we go so again you can see I'm within the safe print area so a couple of things to look at over here where it says print quality good 300 dpi so you you want to make sure that this says good and it's green because if not you're going to have a lousy result now up here you'll also in the upper right hand corner you'll notice mock-up view so it's generated a nice mock-up with the spiral bound okay so I'm gonna click continue so it looks good and I'm gonna just use I'm gonna call it prosper spiral notebook print files okay save product template now when I go to add it to the store this is when it gets interesting so we can proceed to mock-ups Because they have additional mock-ups that you can you can create like they call it lifestyle mock-up this one is just a hand if 
for some reason it says mock-up preview is not available for this product. Worry not, the files you download will have the design on them. So I think we just can't see them here, but we'll, we'll get, I've never had that message before. So here again, I'm going to put Prosper. This is what's going to get um, transferred to my store. So here I can edit the copy if I want. I want to publish this product. Uh, I definitely don't want to use the animals category. So I am going to choose gray matter products as my category in my store. That was set up for me by me in advance. Proceed to pricing. So here's where you where you set your markup. So this is the printful price. This is what you you are going to pr pay printful. The retail price is going to be the total price in your store and you will get a profit of four dollars and fifty five cents so I think I'm going to make this twenty dollars so I want to increase by um, oh here's the other thing you could do this by percentage so let's let's see if we do like twenty percent with that what that does so that makes it $19. That's kind of an interesting price. I think I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm going to say, I'm just going to click Submit to Store. So it has been added to my store. So let's go over to my site and go to my gray matter products. See, these are all my categories. And the two that I'm using for Printful are Canvas Art Prints and Gray Matter Products. If I click on Gray Matter Products, you will see these are the few that are non-art related, hanging on the wall kind of products. And here is my Prosper Spiral Notebook. If I click on it, I noticed I only have two mock-ups, the front and the back. If I go down here, this is the copy that it was included. And then I have related products down here. So let's go back to the product templates. And then we go to download mockups. So I'm going to download all of these. I'm going to choose JPEG because they're smaller. My, I definitely try to make my uh, store to load as fast as possible, so I always choose JPEGs. Okay, so as so now I'm logged into the back end of my WordPress, and you'll see my very first product up here is now a Spiral Notebook. Printful has given it has given it a skew. My price is $19, and I'm going to edit. So if you know anything about WooCommerce, this top paragraph here is like the main text, but there's always a, a short description, which is missing from Printful. So that's where I'm going to write something interesting there that might, you know, talk more about the affirmations and how you could use this for bullet journaling. I want to try to get a bullet journal as a keyword to rank for. So I'm going to call it a Prosper bullet journal, and I'm going to I'm going to edit all of this. I'm going to add an, a more interesting mock-up picture. And if you're good at Photoshop, you can also create your own mock-ups, but um, I think what they sent me was pretty good. So let's upload them and see. I'm going to remove this featured image, and I'm going to add these new ones that they sent. I 
kind of like this one for my big featured image. So I'm going to call it a Prosper Bullet Journal. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to use Bullet Journal. For now, I'm going to leave it. Always set alt tags. Um, I think Bullet Journal might actually be a trademark, so I'm going to look into that before I actually uh, finish this. Now down here is where I can add additional product images. So I'm going to do this one, this one, and this one. And if, oh, why isn't it letting me? Here we go. Add all of these. We didn't need this one because it's gonna it's over here. And I am maybe gonna make this one first. Get that. And now we could preview it. See, I like this image because it shows the little dotted pattern. Now you'll notice, um, well this is a WooCommerce thing, but um, my, my titles don't look so hot, so I'm going to go back into my um, media library. And I'm going to change my titles. So. Go back to the front. Okay, so now you can see I wrote some copy. I'm staying away from the bullet journal the two words together so um, because of copyright trademark issues so I'm still calling it a prosper spiral notebook but I'm mentioning bullet notebooks or journals um, because you know this is definitely the kind of paper that people who do bullet journals like um, I'm mentioning the daily affirmations are conveniently located on the back cover and to start their day with these affirmations before they use the journal to build a more prosperous life. So I'm hoping that this copy will inspire people to look further into purchasing this journal. And then down here it has more of the details, how many pages, the sizes of the pages. So it's a pretty good um, you know, product page that really uh, shows the details. You can zoom in and it has the multiple pictures. So I think it's fully flushed out. I hope I didn't overwhelm you. 
I know I promised I might try to get to the framing, but uh, this took long enough, so I think I'm just going to give you a sneak peek at what the framing section looks like. So let's pretend we're going to create a, a product. Just a sneak peek to see the frames come. There's different types of paper and different. Um, I never looked at this one, but um, I like the matte paper, so I'm going to choose that. And as you can see, you can choose vertical and horizontal. Um, it also comes in two colors and all of these sizes. So, proportionally, um, not all of these sizes are going to work for a single piece of artwork. So if I had a very vertical um, painting, I would choose vertical, and then I would turn off anything that isn't going to work. Um, nothing square, for instance, and only the ones that are more of a very vertical um, type of shape. So now, I can notice here it says items with overlay need to be adjusted individually. So um, I don't know that I've got any with an overlay. So once I put my artwork in here, I would know whether or not I wanted to adjust each one individually. But that's what it is. It's not uh, too bad, I don't think. Um, I haven't prepared, I haven't downloaded the templates yet, and I haven't prepared any artwork for here. But if I wanted to, let's just for, for let's just see very quickly if I added that same. Now let's add something else. Um, I must have something here that I can add. Let's place this one in there, and we can resize it, and that looks pretty good in that size. So let's see what happens when we go to the 18 by 24. So now again we have to resize it and I'm not so happy with that I don't think. So I might remove the 18 by 24. Um, if I go to the 24 by 36 <clears throat> it's perfect. So it looks like the two winners are 18 by uh, 12 by 18 and 24 by 36 and I would probably get rid of this one in the middle and um, so that's how it works I will do another video on just framing once I've got uh, you know the artwork that I want to include all ready for me to create a video but this is a great option for an easy product to add to your site you can again uh, set the markup on it so that you can make a decent amount of money. This is definitely better than sites like Society6 where they're going to give you pennies on the dollar. So that's it for today and if you stick around you'll hear my art marketing beat. I hope you enjoyed this. Really highly recommend Printful. It's a time saver. The quality is good. I, I, I always suggest that you buy at least one of them have it delivered, you get it at your wholesale cost, and you know check it out before you put it up on your website so that you know the type of quality that you're sending to your collectors. So definitely give it a try. So thanks for staying till the end. We're now gonna have our art marketing beat. You now have this website with all these great products on it. How do you get people there? If you don't already have a website that has massive amounts of traffic, because it will, you know, marketing uh, a product, if you don't know, on the internet, or any kind of direct, mar you know, direct mail marketing, or any kind of direct marketing like that, is about a 2% return. So if you only have 50 people in your mailing list, good luck. <laughs> so you're going to have to do something to grow that mailing list and also get orders. So I would suggest to start with Facebook advertising. I know we don't all like Facebook these days, but, um, and I'm one of those people. You don't find me on Facebook too often, but I do place ads on there because other people are on Facebook and their target tools 
their target market tools are great. I'm not going to teach you how to do that. You can find that video somewhere else, but definitely look into it because you can target your audience, like who you imagine your audience to be. So create this avatar of a person that you think is going to love your artwork. How old are they? Are they male, female, both? Um, what do they like? You know, are they into sports? Is your artwork about sports? You know, in my case, positive thoughts. There are people who are maybe into law of attraction. So think about the person that would be attracted to your artwork and what kind of person are they? What are their likes, dislikes, and what, what do they do? Maybe what do they do for a living? How much money do they make? Target people of a certain demographic. Facebook has an easy tool. They have things like interests. So if you're painting, you know, landscapes of golf courses, go after the golfer, you know, if it's a winery, um, you know, if you do landscapes of like vineyards and whatever, then, you know, maybe they like to drink wine. So, or they're into Tuscan uh, interior design or something. So think about that person and then target them on Facebook. And start with a really small budget. I wouldn't say go blowing hundreds of dollars. Don't expect too much in the beginning. Play with it while you're learning. Put, you know, a small amount of dollars. See what happens. And also in Facebook, you can decide whether you want to send them directly to a shop or directly to a single product page. Or you can try to get new likes on your Facebook page so then you can target uh, market through your your Facebook page so definitely try that out because you've got to get people to your website you now have products to sell so and also on your regular personal page let your friends and family know that you have this stuff for sale you'd be surprised so anyway thank you for staying till the end and uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.